Been looking forward to sharing this with everybody, my exclusive interview with Victor Webanyama. If you don't already know him, you will by tomorrow night's draft. He is the most highly anticipated NBA draft prospect since King James. The 19-year-old is French, so I travel to Paris to meet this special young man. It is Victor Wembanyama's time to shine. And here comes Wemby. Way too easy. The 19-year-old Parisian phenom projected to take the number one spot in this year's NBA draft. The most anticipated prospect of his generation. Hey, Bonjour. How are you? I hear you come here often. Yeah, I'm kind of used oh, to it. Oh, show me, show me, please. <laughs> Meeting at his favorite cafe right outside of Paris. I'm from the Pizzetta. Pizzetta, true. As the world awaits his league debut. Word on the street is that uh, you eat quite a bit. How many meals a day? I gotta eat whenever I can. Before practice, after practice, before going to bed, after waking up, before the nap, after the nap. All of that to fuel the seven foot three basketball star. That looks so good. I, I give you a piece of it. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy. Who has eagerly trained his entire life for this moment. The first thing when people see you, of course, it's your height. But you are so unique in that you play like a guard. How do you do some of the things you do out there on the court, Victor? Ever since I touched the basketball, I've never stopped. I've always practiced to play the way I play today. That play style, that agility, that dexterity. Wimby, gaining attention from pro players, including Giannis, Kevin Durant, and the league's all-time scorer, LeBron. He's more like, like an alien. He's. Um for sure, uh, a generational talent. Who can especially relate to the buzz around Victor's journey to the NBA. What they say about you is not just your game, it's your work ethic. How do you deal with the pressure that goes along with the anticipation of you? The most important for this is to have your goal in sight. I have such high expectations for myself, and I'm so determined that the expectations of others are nothing compared to what mm. I expect of myself. A strict routine on and off the court for Victor, who has led his team to the finals of the top-tier French Pro Basketball League. His pregame warm-ups crucial to avoid injury. Your athletic trainers, the way they, they get you prepped. There was something that I read about. You take off your shoes and socks and you crawl. Having your feet actually connected to the ground is really important as a basketball player because it gets the, the, the feet stronger. If your feet are, are strong, you can then get better on every other aspect of your body. There have also been some who look at you and go, are you ready the day in, day out, the grueling NBA schedule? They could think that because they don't, they don't know my work ethic. I know how I work, how we work with my, with my surroundings, with my environment. You know, I, I could never have any doubt. And so when someone says, bulk up. Why? What for? <laughs> <laughs> you should tell others to skinny up. <laughs> As athletes themselves, Victor's parents, both proud and protective of their son. His mom, a former basketball player and little league coach. His dad, a former competitive long jumper. The thing is, they didn't really interfere with my sport. They let me be how I wanted to be. They made a lot of sacrifices. On the other hand, they're, they're going to be able to retire early, so. <laughs> oh, I like your confidence. <laughs> The night of the draft, what's going to be going through your mind? It's going to be so high on emotions. It's really, yeah, really special for me and my family. Our life is going to change from one day to another. Spending as much time as he can in his beloved country. It's more like merci. Merci. Mercy. Not mercy, yeah. merci. Yeah, exactly. Before entering into his next chapter. Your English is so good. <laughs> it really is good. How did you learn? I've wanted to be an NBA player for many years, so uh, you know, I have no choice. At some point, if you want to learn a new language, you got to act like you already know the language. Like when I mentioned, I said bonjour. Yeah. You were this like... the first step. Yeah, yeah. Good, good first step. I, I almost started speaking French to you. Uh, uh, oh, thank you. you was American. So, you know, Victor, let's dig in. Are you going to miss the food? I'm going to find a way to bring some European oh. and French food back over there. <laughs> Do you visualize what that must be like to play mm -hmm. against the world's greats? Yeah. I think the... The most important is to not step on the court being too humble. You gotta be humble enough to, to be able to respect the game. But if you step on the court too humble and scared, you're like, you, can, you can't do anything. You can see yourself on that court. I love of course. It. <laughs> 
The NBA draft is tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC and ESPN. And you can see my full conversation with Victor during the ABC telecast. Looking forward to that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.